Hey guys, Tim here. Today we're going to have a look at the good old Atari 2600, or also known as the Atari VCS or Video Computer System. Released in 1977, it was a spectacle to behold with all its wood grainy awesomeness. It was actually one of the first systems to have interchangeable carts. Uh, not exactly the first, there are a few others, but uh, it's one of the most notable. Joysticks were nice and easy, single joystick, one button, paddle controllers for games like Breakout and Tennis. These days with all the controllers you get about 6 trillion different buttons and it kind of gets confusing. At least the old days I did it okay. Uh, kind of. Later on the Atari 2600 Vader model was released which is an all black model, hence the name Vader. Uh, this is pretty much the same thing, a little bit cheaper to manufacture, a couple of less switches but um, it all did exactly the same thing as the original did, just a little bit better. On the back here you've got all the controller ports, uh, difficulty switches. Um, one thing you can note as I'm demonstrating with the Atari 2600 Junior here, you can use an old Sega controller as well if your uh, joysticks die, which is a good thing. One of the coolest things about the Atari is uh, they're still actually developing games for it via our homebrew community. Um, one of the most notable ones was uh, a rendition of Halo. Um, how that works, I'm not too sure. We'll check it out in a sec, but um, that on this does not compute. guys that actually haven't played Atari and um, are used to your Xbox 360s and Playstations, look, <laughs> the graphics aren't that fantastic. In those days you had to use a lot of imagination. These were the, one of the first pioneering home consoles, so uh, the graphics were made up of, uh, I remember the days of pixels, very big pixels, <laughs> and uh, very few of them. Um, we'll take a look at some of the games and you'll see especially bowling and um, things like that. You really have to use your imagination, but back in the day it was fantastic. Uh, the game is mainly comprised of um, like a score challenge, where you know, the highest score wins. Uh, that was a big thing in the early days. Uh, there were some games like uh, I think Advanced Dungeons and Dragons or that sort uh, adventure actually. It was more of a story based thing we could actually complete as opposed to getting a high score. <laughs> Games on Atari are very short, um, usually, uh, very addictive. Um, I guess you can kind of relate them to uh, Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> That's a bad joke. Um, <laughs> but if you want to get an Atari, I uh, recommend doing so. It's a great, great uh, entrance into some of the earlier styles of gaming and um, 
it's really, really good fun. Now you can play combat with your friends, two players. Um, as I said, just go past the graphics, go past the sound, um, and it, it's all about gameplay. So, uh, a good place to pick these up, obviously, is um, your usual places like eBay. Probably what you want to pay for one of these things. Here's a bit of a price tip. Um, look, it varies. Uh, you can pick some of them up for twenty dollars, but sometimes they tend to the wood grain ones with the six, the, or the heavy sixes, they can go anywhere up two hundred dollars upwards. Um, but look for one of one of the uh, the Tara Twist and the Jews. Um, a couple of days you could probably pick up for about thirty, forty bucks, and um, start your collection and at least get you going and um, get a bit of fun with it. So, as the uh, as the catchphrase goes, back in the uh, the seventies, have you played Atari today? I have. Awesome. I'll catch you next time guys and um, hope to see you soon.